so what do we have here we are seeing a big sell on crash 500 index i'm going to place a sell on crash 500 index because i'm seeing a very big sell on crash 500 index if i check the one hour time frame you will see right here that the market has bought and price is at the overbought level we just sold the market and we are in a big profit guys we are in a big profit and another sell is going to happen again we made 19 dollars from this market now and i'm going to close the trade right so right here i'm going to wait a little bit before placing another sell on this market because the market is still at the overbought region so what i'll do now is to go to the boom 500 index and see how i will be able to make profit on that market as well i just made 19.28 dollars on this trade on crash 500 index right now so i'm gonna go to boom 500 index right here and see how we able to make profit on that market on boom 500 index what i'm seeing is that the market will buy at a given point right here a spike will occur at this point a spike is going to come through and the market and the market will buy because what we're seeing here is that the market has sold for a particular period of time so if you are in the market right here and you are in this position what you should do is to avoid selling or buying because if you place a buy you are going to be in a loss for about five or six candle ticks before the spike would come so i'm not confident of this trade so what i'll do is to go to crash 1000 index to see if i'll be able to take advantage of small price movements all right so if i zoom out as you can see right here price has bought for a particular period of time so what i'll do is to wait for a few candle ticks before i'm going to place a sell when the level has gotten to the level of 90 because when price gets to the level of 90 the market always sells right so let's see what's happening on crash 300 index on the crash 300 index we are seeing a downtrend on the macd so what i'll do is to scalp into this market i'm gonna scalp into this market and take just two candle ticks i'm going to place a buy because what i'm seeing here is this market is at the overbought region so let's check the one hour time frame to confirm our entry real quick I can see that market is buying and the market will sell so the market will sell all right so what i would do is take one candle tick and enter into four entries let's see what's going on here four entries right and one candle ticks with a one lot size we are taking advantages of small price movement to avoid future spike in the market because i'm seeing that the market has bought for a particular period of time and the reason i'm taking just one candle tick is that the next entry will sell just like it happened in our previous trade the next entry can be a sell so i'm only going to scalp this market taking just one candle tick and we got just 4.29 dollar on this trade so i'm going to close all the position right now to avoid the spike so i have successfully gotten 4.29 dollar on this market where which is $22 in total profit for now. So this arrow that I've just drawn right now is because a spike may occur at any given point. So as you can see, the market has bought for a particular period of time. That made me to just take just one candle tick. I took just one candle tick so that I would, wow, like I said, guys, take a look at it. The spike just occurred at this point. And I was trying to explain that the reason why I only took just one candle tick is because of the spike that would come at any given point. Now, take a look at this spike, guys. Take a look at it and you can see how accurate and perfect my analysis it's at the red arrow that i've drawn and i said a spike would come and it did and so guys like i will always say if you think that a spike will occur just close and take your profit because it may come at any given point okay now check out what i've just said guys the spike came and i told you guys that the spike may happen at any given point so that's the reason why i just took just one candle tick and as we have seen right here the spike came through already okay so now i'm gonna check on the boom 500 index to see how price is doing on that market right now okay so on the boom 500 index 
um we can see right here that the market are just spikes like i told you guys that this position is not a good entry for either a buy or a sell because the market would spike because the market have sold for a particular period of time and i draw the red arrow line just to show you guys that the market can spike at any given point in time because the market has been selling for a particular period of time and you can see that just three candle ticks away and the spike happened right you can see that just three candle ticks away and the spike came through right here and we can see right here that the if i zoom out and you can see the mark d is now creating a what an uptrend for the boom what 500 index and on the up mark d spike always happen take a look at it on the up mark d guys the spike always come true so what i'll do on this market right here is because the 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 mark d is now creating an uptrend okay so what i'll do is to take a sell i'm going to enter into c sell and scalp just two markets just cap just two candle ticks with a lot size of one and i'm going to take two candlesticks and um because it's an uptrend of the macd and when it's an uptrend uptrend the market always wants spike so i don't want the spike to catch me i don't want to get caught up with the spike so what i'll do is just take two candlestick and take the profits from this market all right i'm going to take the profit after the second candle tick has been fully completed okay so guys you can see how accurate this uh my analysis is i draw the red trend line and the spike came through at the third after the trend line just as you can see right here on the boom 500 index market and right here we're in a profit guys we're in a profit on about two and almost five dollar profit i will be closing this trade at almost five dollar right so i just went through to the crash 500 index just to check our price is doing right here okay and we can see that price isn't doing quite well because price had overbought so right here we can see right here that the price has gotten to um almost at the third almost at the second candle tick and we are at 3.47 usd as profit guys nice one nice one perfect strategy perfect analysis i'm just using just the rsi and the macd indicator alone for this scalping strategy and we can see why in the big profit guys why in the big profit and we are always winning winning strategy this trade is going to be in a profit and we're in a profit right here at five dollars what i'll do is to close all the positions guys all entries to avoid future spike i don't want to get caught up with the spike so i just took that profit of 5.0 dollar as you can see perfect strategy perfect analysis you don't need to be greedy on the market you don't need to stay on the market for too long all you need to do is to plan your strategy plan your analysis perfectly then take advantage of small price movement from the market and you're going to be a win-win trade you're going to get a win-win trade you know to be a pro trader you need to always plan your analysis okay your analysis need to be right for you to be a profitable and a pro trader all right so let's check on what's going on on the crash 500 index like you see guys spike just came through i didn't enter into the market when i went to the crash 500 index because I knew that the spike would come because the market is at the overbought level. And I don't want to buy and I don't want to sell. Because if I sell, I will be in a loss. Because I don't know um how, how long the spike is going to be. Right? I don't know how, the spike, how long the spike is going to be. That's why I didn't take a buy or I didn't take a sell. I know if I took a buy, I will be in a loss. And if I took a sell, um, I might be in a loss. Because I don't know how far the price we, the market will continue to buy before the spike would come just as we can see in this market right here okay so guys you know what i'm saying guys is for you to be a professional trader what you need to do is to have your perfect analysis okay it doesn't matter about the big figures all you need is to plan your strategy perfectly and you're going to be a pro trader the more you practice the more you're going to be good on this market right so on the boom montage or index market and uh, i'm not seeing a good entry point so what i'll do is um let's check what's happening here on the crash montage on index market okay let's see what we can do here on this market um i just checked the one hour time frame right here and we can see the market is buying the market is buying right here because the market has sold for a particular period of time so what we're going to do is to place a buy all right we're gonna place a buy and scalp just 
about two or let's say one candle tick right so we just took a sell we just took a buy on this market and we're going to close after some candle tick right here so we're going to take just a few of the candle ticks and we're going to be in a profit and we're going to call this a trade okay we're going to call this a win trade we're talking about four candle ticks from this market guys four candle tick as profit from this trade so this is how you trade scalp the market take small profit because of how volatile the market is because of how volatile the crash and boom market is so you don't know you know stay in the market for too long you don't want to hold your position right so that the spike doesn't catch you all you need to do is to plan your analysis then and your strategy okay plan your analysis and your strategy and we took about five candle ticks and right here we're in the profit guys so i'm going to close the trade i took just one candle ticks and we just made a huge profit from this market okay so it depends on the amount of loss size you use the amount of loss size we determine the amount of profit and loss you will get if you use big lots you will get big profits but you know the loss is going to be big on the market right so guys always plan your strategy if you want to be a pro trader what you need to do is focus on the technicals analysis on crash and boom focus on your indicators study the, the trend line go to the historical trend practice well before you know you to start placing your trades all right so i'm going to show you the setup for the indicators the rsi is period on 14 i put it on 14 while i apply to close then the levels i use 90 and 10 why i on um, the style i use two pixel and the color is red while the trend line is this one on the middle then you click on done then the style right here is on two pixel the color i use blue color right here then click on done then for the MACD, I use the MACD, the fast EMA, I use 12, then the slow EMA, 26, and MACD SMA, I use 9, then I apply it to close. Then um, the style right here, color is green, the style is on 2 pixel, while the signal color is red and 2 pixel, while I use the first trend line, then I click on done, alright. Then I added sell to the levels on 90 and I added buy on the level of 10. So this is the strategy I use for my basics. When price gets to this level of 90, I will sell. When it gets to the level of 10, I will buy. All right. So if you find value in this video and you enjoyed this video, do as a like and subscribe to the channel, the daily forex. I will see you guys on the next video.